Hi ladies, it's Diana here, and I'm just uh, here to give you a just, I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're going to do on the next Traveling Treasures event. Um, I just gave you some things to look at here while I'm talking. Um, what I first want to say is um, I'm planning on having the next event take place <clears throat> during uh, well, begin, I'm sorry, beginning August 16th, 2017. That's August 16th, 2017. That would be the day that I send my 10 items in the mail to everybody. We are going to have a sign up on August 2nd through the 9th. It will end the 9th at 12 o'clock p.m. It will begin August 2nd. Cutoff day will be August 9th at 12 p.m. Uh, the theme of this year's Ooh La La Traveling Treasures event will be vintage sewing. I will announce uh, when I'm going to begin taking the six names who will be in the event. Um, we're going to keep it small. I will be the seventh because I'm going to host it, but other than that, there will be six names picked. If more than six happen to sign up, I will uh, ask anybody else who wants to host, a, host one, and if they do, then I will have them uh, contact Doreen and see about setting up a second group. It will probably be a different theme. It probably will not be vintage sewing. So, um, I would want, beginning August 2nd, I want the names to all come into one location. So, I, I don't want to miss anybody. So, what I'm going to say is I will take the first six names, uh, and you will have to um, contact me on Messenger. And, and <coughs> excuse me and put your name in on Messenger. Then I will announce for another host who will probably have a different theme to contact Doreen if more than six come in. Okay, I thought I was better prepared for this, but maybe not so much. Anyways, there are some things that I do want to emphasize this time. Um, one of them is, um, let's try to keep things light. Um, you know, small things, I've put an example of some of the things that I'm going to put in the new Ooh La La box. This will be some of the ten items I will be putting in there. Um, they're not wrapped yet. They're not. Nothing's been done to them. But I just want to give you an example of how cute some small things can be, yet you don't have to make them, you know, so large. Uh, we are going to keep the size to around 5 inches by 7 inches. No bigger than that, ladies. Just try to keep it within the 5 to 7 inches. We'd like to, tr the idea of this is to try to keep the box smaller and lighter so it's not costing people so much money to send. Okay, now let's start out here. Um, I'm going to go through the rules, and if anything has changed, uh, we'll I will talk about it. Okay. I'll start out by saying, you know how we do it at Ooh La La. Presentation is everything. This is what Doreen has said all along, and I think it really does make a huge difference in how we accept things and how much fun it is to open the things and how much fun it is to get the things. 
is you see that box of yumminess and you just want to tear into it. So, okay, rule number one. Choose up to six items out of the ten items that you are that are in the Traveling Treasures chest. Now, I think in the past there's been a little bit of confusion there, so I kind of want to take a minute to um, make this a little clearer. When you take an item, you must take the whole item, the whole number one item. No taking, like, bits and pieces out of one and putting them into another. Like, if you take this, you take this whole thing. If there was these two items as one, say these two items were one package, you can't just take this item and leave this item. That's not the way it goes. So when we package these things, too, we want to be careful how we're packaging them. So again, you must take the whole item, not pick and choose what you want out of it. It, it has to all be taken, you know, um, together. It is tempting. I know when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to keep, there was always something in each one I really wanted, but I had to stick to one item. And so uh, if this isn't clear, Either contact me or Doreen, and we'll try to cl clarify it for you. Number two, replace the items you chose from the treasure chest with an equal number of items. Up to six may, up to six. may include an alterable item mentioned in number four. We're not at number four yet, but um, there is talk about a, um, an alterable item. So in other words, you take one item, you have to replace it with one item, and it has to be equal to what the value of this item would be. It doesn't have to be just like it. We do have to kind of, you know, trust our own judgment here and uh, know what that means. And that means of equal value. In other words... You can't take this and replace it with a little naked uh, uh, oh, for Pete's sakes, spool <laughs> that's this big. You know, that's not how you do it. Yeah, they're both spools, but they have to be equal. So um, that's that. And uh, again, any if you have questions with any about any of these rules, contact me or Doreen. Number three, please keep in mind that the value of the items you remove should be replaced with items of equal value. I've already just um, explained that. So, number four. Uh, this is optional. In other words, you don't have to, to do this. It is optional. Include one item to alter, e.g. placemat, box, purse, pouch, canvas, anything like that, that for somebody to alter. Okay, number five. Keep to the following color schemes. Now, lady, this, ladies, this is really very important, and I want to really emphasize this, because we are starting to get off course here. So uh, keep the following color scheme. Light pink, mint green, that's a very pale, all these are very pale shades. Pale aqua, pale lavender, pale cream, white, and or tan. And that is the, the colors. Pale pink, Pale green, pale aqua, pale lavender, pale cream, white, and or tan. Actually, cream is pale. You don't have to. I didn't mean to say pale. Um, this is so important because we have gotten some things now that have been darker colors. And this is not what 
Ooh La La Vintage Treasures represents. We are very, sh we are shabby chic, and um, some colors just don't say shabby chic, and that would be like colors like dark purples and cranberries and dark blues and navies and blacks. We don't want any of those colors. Oranges. Those are colors that strictly belong to some other, you know, something else, but not to vintage, shabby chic colors. Okay, uh, number six. Remember our theme, vintage sewing. So, some ideas for that would be spools. This is, this is a, a, a spool. Uh, flowers, uh, old buttons, needles, needle books, crochet, doilies, uh, flowers, I already said that, old notions, if you got some old sewing notions at home. Now, this does not have to mean antique, but it must look vintage, and it's very easy to to make things that don't really look like today what something you would get today. It would look older, more worn, more shabby. So um, another thing I think I had written down too, uh, sewing tags, uh, snippet rolls, anything that has to do with vintage sewing. Now, um, I find, uh, like, you put vintage sewing in on Pinterest, you're going to get all tons and tons of vintage ideas for sewing. So, just giving you an idea. Uh, and again, uh, Doreen or I will, will answer any questions you might have about that. Okay, uh, number six. Please share things you would like to receive for yourself and not just items you want to discard. This is very important too. We all have things that we're not using, we just want to get rid of. It's something that maybe we've gotten uh, as gifts or something and they're not really us and we want to unload them. That's not what we want. We want things that you like. Like this has always been one of my favorite flowers that I made. And I've hung on to it and hung on to it, but I'm going to put this in the vintage sewing. I made this myself, and um, I'm going to send it on. And I'm also going to add other flowers to it, too, so uh, that would be that. Okay, number seven, please sign and date the Traveling Treasures Journal that will be included in the treasure chest and send the journal on to the next person in your group. If you wish, you may include notes or letters to me or Doreen or others in the group within the journal. Feel free to decorate a page or two. I, will, I am going to show you the journal uh, before I... I go this time, the journal that I made. And I'm still not done with it. It's a work in progress, but I'm going to show you. I do have, um, I believe, the inside done. I just don't have the outside done. Okay. On, on to number eight. <clears throat> Take pictures of the items you receive, the items you are sending out, and the items you are sh sending out. Share your pictures and or a short video in the Ooh La La Vintage Treasures Boutique on Facebook. This is the only way that everyone can share in the fun. I did a video on what I got in the box first. This is how I did it. Uh, then I did a second video saying what I chose and what I replaced it with. Now you can do this whatever makes you comfortable, but that was very easy for me. Uh, also, I really want to emphasize, if you can do a video, it is so much better. 
uh, pictures just don't capture everything. And, uh, you know, we want to keep people accountable here, too. And this is something that is maybe getting to be a little bit of a problem here and there. I'm not I'm not going to, you know, say names or point names or point fingers at anybody. It's not like that. It's got nothing to do with that. All I'm saying is that we need to um, be more accountable. And the only way you can be accountable is by actually showing the things, talking about them a little bit. And um, so if you absolutely can't do a video, if it's something you just just can't do, then you need to be able to take some really good pictures and be very specific. So that would be the next. Okay, number nine. Uh, oh, they've got here um, ideas of items to share. Okay, this, I think most of this can... Um, could be put in for uh, vintage sewing. I'm just going to say the things that I think can. Laces and trims. Uh, I think sparkle pieces, rhinestone trims, charms, flowers, metal embellishments, appliques, doilies, tags. I think most of those would be acceptable because those are things we all really like. Okay, to view a few examples of what to share, check out some of the pictures past participants <coughs> excuse me, have posted under albums. <coughs> excuse me, I should have brought some water. In the Ooh La La Boutique on Facebook. They are awesome. For even more ideas, go to YouTube and watch Doreen's video on the Valentine's 2017 traveling treasures. Number 10, important, and this is very important ladies, you have three days to turn around the treasure chest and send it to the next person on the list. Please be timely. The person to whom you are sending the traveling treasures chest is just as excited to receive it as you are. Most importantly, remember the golden rule and have a blast with this. Now this three days turnaround. Um, this does not include shipping time. This is the time you actually have this stuff in your hot little hands. Now I got mine on a Wednesday late afternoon. Not late afternoon, late morning. And that night I made a video but I needed time the next day to get my video ready for what I kept and what I um, was going to uh, replace it with. So that took a while. That took the next day for me to do all that stuff. And then the next day was Friday. And that's what I took that day to package everything and uh, wrap it and package it. So my day ended ended on a Friday, so I didn't actually get it out until Monday because our, I don't know about anybody else's post office, but ours is not open on Saturday and Sunday. So I had to wait till Monday morning and mail it. And so it did take a little longer. But most of the time, if we get them during the week, it just depends on when you get it. But we do want to stick to that three-day timeline if we can, as much as we can. Okay. I think, I think I've just about covered everything here. Um, if, like I say, if anybody has any questions or if I think of anything else, I will mention it in my first video when I show all the things that I'm going to, to give. Now I'm going to move these things out of the way. And I'm going to show you, this is my, let me see if I can 
now that I don't have this other stuff, I'm kind of sitting at a angle here. This is my Ooh La La Vintage Treasures Traveling Treasures Journal. This is the back. I have a bit. I didn't glue this down really well because I want somebody to be able. Well, no, this is going to stay intact. I'm sorry. Forget I said that. So, anyways, I put a doily, little piece of ruffle, little um. Let me call it um, rolled rose type thing, and a little bling in the center. Now, I've got to finish this because I've got some writing I want to do on here and all that kind of stuff. So, But here's the book, and I want to um, show this to you to a point. Uh, this is just a paper flower I have down there. Uh, I put little pockets. I did a page, a main page for everybody. Your name is going to go up here. On this strip there's a little pocket as you can see here I'm, I'm look, doing this at an odd angle little pocket and then a little journaling card now you can journal on here you can use the back also stick it back in there but then you also have the next page do whatever you want on and you can take as many pages. There's all kinds of pages left back here. You can do as many pages as your little heart cont is, you know, cont is content to do. But this would be the second page. I don't like the second pages because it's hard to write here. But if you can do it, fine. Here's another. Somebody else's name is going to be up here. A little journaling page. Peg. And uh, next page. Here's another page. There's another page. Everybody's going to have one of these. Here's another page. Like I say, all these come out of here. So everybody will have a, another page. It's the last page. I think that's six. Six or seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. Because I thought I would take a page too just to write on, but I'll probably do the last one or whichever one is left. Everybody take the page you want. I don't worry about me. I'll do whatever I can. But then, like I say, there's all kinds of pages back here. Just make sure you put your name on it so we know that you did it. And you can do whatever you want in here. But that's, that's my book or my journal that I've done. And, um, like I say, I've got to finish the cover up. I want to do a, um, you know, put ooh la la traveling treasures on there and a few other things that I want to put on there. But this is my journal. So, um, I guess you can see it. All right, ladies, I think that's all that I have for you. Uh, oh, you know something else I never thought of? Pin cushions. This one looks like a porcupine. <laughs> but yeah, you can do uh, pin cushions. That would be another small item that would be considered. Here's another one I did. But yeah, I never thought of that. So there's a little added thing. So, okay, I'm, I am going to go now, ladies. I hope that... Uh, I've gotten everything. If I don't, I'll pick back up on it on the my first video where I show my 10 items I'm sending out. So, um, anyways, uh, be looking for it. Uh, August 2nd, I think it was. Yes, August 2nd through the 9th. Send me a message if you want to be in the, the Traveling Treasures Ooh la la. Traveling treasures. I think I already said that. <laughs> I'm getting screwed. Here, let me start over again. The Ooh la la traveling treasures vintage sewing event. So, um, talk to you soon. Bye.